Warner Brothers has made some very interesting comments on how they feel about AAA game titles and kind of their thoughts on them going forward. It's very safe to say they have a very negative outlook now on AAA titles. This is after a quite long legacy of having good AAA titles and now having one that just completely failed. I guess it only takes one bad experience to just leave a bad taste in your mouth because Warner Brothers is making it very clear that they are not a fan now of AAA titles. So in a recent presentation by an executive of Warner Brothers Discovery, his name is J.B. Perret. I'm seeing he is an executive. I'm also seeing he is a CEO of like their uh, gaming division. So definitely a top dog. And uh, yeah, like I said, he was doing this presentation recently. And during this, uh, he outlined the company's new strategy for the future of gaming. So overall, he uh, emphasized a shift toward more free live service games and also mobile games in contrast to AAA titles. So he basically said that uh, the randomness of what makes a AAA title successful or not is just too much for him to handle, I guess. And now they're just focusing on these other endeavors that are less risky. So like I said, live service, free to play, uh, mobile games. So all this is kind of after the elephant in the room, which is the game called Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. This was a game that came out about a month ago. It was developed by Rocksteady Studios, but it was published by Warner Brothers. I don't know much about superhero video games, but I believe it's just basically based in the DC universe. And anyway, this game absolutely flopped. It was a AAA title, of course, so they pumped a lot of money into it, and they very much, uh, it would seem anyway, did not get their money back. They lost a ton of money from this title. I saw one Reddit comment basically say that from all the money that they made from Hogwarts Legacy, they may have lost all of that money from this new game. I mean, I don't know how exactly uh, true that is, but yeah, it looks like it was a huge financial loss for them. And as others have pointed out as well in comments, Warner Brothers has a track record of very good AAA titles. So like I said, Harry Potter Legacy, that is one very big example. Mortal Kombat, I believe all of those games are DC, those do very well. All those Batman games, I believe from a few years ago, like uh, Arkham City, Arkham Knight, those are AAA Warner Brothers titles, those did remarkably well. But now just with this one very bad title, well, yeah, like I said, uh, they are just ditching the, what they see as more risky endeavor of pursuing AAA titles. It is more safe to just go with the free-to-play mobile live service games. So JB Perret uh, emphasized that they want to still focus on their core franchises, but basically extend them into the mobile and free-to-play landscape. He talked about other uh, upcoming strategic investments that they want to pursue to just basically keep uh, a lot of their IPs going. But essentially, the main takeaway way here is that he doesn't now think that the big investment that comes into AAA titles uh, is worth it, just because of, of what he sees as the sort of randomness of if these titles succeed or not. And as some have pointed out, that is uh, quite incorrect to say that it's just, you know, based on total randomness. I don't know much about this whole Suicide Squad game, but I guess there were a ton of red flags before it launched at how it was just not going to do well at all. As much as I haven't really followed the story, I have seen the title come up in some articles. I've seen before it was even released, you know, talking about how a lot of stuff didn't look good and how it was basically uh, doomed from the start, I guess. So yeah, definitely a, a very big, very, I don't know, emotionally charged reaction to this whole thing. I don't know if this decision came from some careful decision making or if it really was just out of some uh, heat of the moment decision when the final numbers came in from the Suicide Squad game. But regardless, JB Perret, he is looking forward into the future and just kind of talking about their future endeavors and like I said, it doesn't look like that is now going to include AAA titles. I mean, they've got a lot of big IPs, but especially I think with Harry Potter and just with the massive success that Hogwarts Legacy got, I think it will be very interesting to see what they're going to be doing with the upcoming Harry Potter games now that they don't want to make this AAA investment into their games anymore. We might be looking at the next few installments of these Harry Potter games as a big turnaround from its successful predecessor. It looks like they could actually be live service, free-to-play games. That would be very interesting. 